What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG series and the equipment system. We're actually nearly finished with the equipment system, so we only have maybe one episode more after this one. Uh, could change, but honestly, we're nearly there on creating the core. Of course, as the series go, we'll, you know, add more things and so on, but like the... Uh, we can move on to other things basically, right? So, um, basically in the last episode, we already have that we can go ahead and select items we open up the menu and we can go and have a list of them and then go on ahead and select them into an appropriate slot so what we have to do now is go and uh, pass that information into our character so it will actually pass on the the mesh and equip it into the according uh, uh, socket and so on basically actually like equip it right and then another thing that we have to do is split it in categories so this will be like for example the melee this will be the shields and so on so the items that are specified like for example a sword will not appear in the shield section right in the shield zone so that's what we have to do another thing that we'll do uh maybe that will already be in the next episode but we'll need to make that it will save the according slot of course and then uh, you cannot attack <laughs> when uh you know you're in the Many. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. It's gonna be a very easy to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so let's begin by going into the equipment system UI and open up the WB equipment menu. So what we're gonna begin is by transferring that information into our character. So when we go ahead and equip a slot, we'll pass in that um, mesh over there. So we can, for example, equip our sword. Right, so we're gonna go into the um, graph over here, and right now we have the uh, assign item slot where we receive the item that we want to basically assign, and we apply the icon and so on. So, this is the part that we have to do. So, in here we're already getting, for example, the mesh and the name and so on. So, this is what we have to do. So, let's go now into the content. I'm gonna go into the third person blueprints, and let's open our third person character blueprint. And what we need to do is create a new uh, variable over here. And honestly, we can even do an event. So let's go down here. All right. We're already having a pretty big event graph. Maybe we have to organize this a bit, you know, but you get the idea. Uh, let's go into the right over here. Let's create a new custom event. And this will be equip uh, item. Okay. So from the inventory, we will call this. So we will also be receiving the item. So you know, we'll go ahead and make a new input. It's gonna be item and it's gonna be a slot. And I'm gonna right click and promote this to a variable, which is gonna be the equipped item. I'm gonna make the E in lowercase there. Okay, so it will be basically when we equip a new item, we will assign it into a variable. And then what we need to do is of course, go ahead and pass on the, the mesh and so on. So what we can do, uh, actually, instead of directly getting the item, uh, we can pass on directly only the, um, the icon and the static mesh and the name. But actually later on, if we actually want to get the damage and so on, we'll have to pass all the parameters. So what we can do is, as always, just go and uh, get the um, uh, base, base break, break this, right click, split it, and then get row, sorry, get row like this not the table row put it over here passing the name then get this and then break the uh s weapons and i will have again all this but we only pass on an item so we can do more things basically later on as we go so what we have to do now is get the sword right now of course this is called sword but we are going to go ahead and change the name into equipped weapon where there we go Go ahead and change this because of course this now universal it might not be a sword it might be a bladder things like that but it still will be a weapon in this slot you will not put a shield that will be in a separate slot that's a, a, with time we'll add and so on but let's go back into the bank graph let's get the equip weapon and drag it and now what to do is set static mesh let's go into the wrong found and put it over here so now we are going to get the static mesh and pass it over here so now instantly, if we call this and pass the item from here when we equip it, we'll be able to equip that item. So let's go back into the equipment menu, and on here, right at the end, what we're going to do is cast to the third person character. 
if I know how to type. There we go, the person character. When I go ahead and get the player character, and then we want to go ahead and call that specific event, which was uh, equip equip item. There we go. And now we just we need to pass that item over here, which is the item design. Just put over here to make things more organized. Gonna uh, double click on the uh, connector and just do it again and put it here. So the routing is a bit cleaner, you know, and we have cables running around. Anyways, that should work. Now, let's see what items right now over here we have. So here we have the heavy sword and the wooden bow. And then here we have the normal light sword. Uh, and this is the mesh. So right now, for example, if we equip the heavy sword, all we having is fear in a hand, which is temporary, of course, but you get the idea. Let's go ahead and just get this item, for example. Let's open. Let's go and equip the heavy sword and boom. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that we have our item equipped. So this is the idea, of course. This is completely wrong because, well, it's a it's a huge fear. But if we were to get, for example, this other sword and now equip it, which will be the light sword, it will be right again. Good. Now there's one more thing that we have to do in order to uh, prepare ourselves in the future when we have the actual good items, models, and stuff. And it's that basically um, they will have different sockets. Right, the sword may be on one point, and then another uh, batter or whatever will be maybe in a different scale, and so on. So, we have to basically have different sockets. Okay, so what we have to do is go into the equipment system and go into the S weapons. So, this is our database, and we're actually gonna go ahead and create two more things. Okay, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and add a new variable, and we're gonna drag this and say this is gonna be the uh, socket, the weapon socket and for now this is gonna be a string so we'll pass the name of the socket we'll have to make sure that it's the same exact name as in the skeleton but yeah just be careful with that when you add it later on and as i mentioned before we already have like the type or category with an enumerator so we can select which one it is so great and basically on weapon socket in the string we're gonna add a default text uh, which right now is gonna be the same one as in the sword just to have like a Something I'm ready to touch on as like a default one, which is hand art sword. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it. So, like I said, it has to be exactly the same string, the same cases, everything. So, make sure that when you create the new socket and put the name here, it's exactly the same. If not, everything will break. Okay, we have to have that in mind. And so, go ahead and save everything. And great. All right, so now that we can equip weapons it is time to make the category, right? So we can only equip certain weapons in some categories. So let's go ahead and open up the WB equipment. So in the graph, right? When we go and um, construct this, we are basically going ahead and going through all our slots, going into here, and then basically adding them into our vertical list, right? When we open up this, right now, the items are being created. The items that we have, of course, right now didn't equip one, but you get the idea. So the thing is that we only have to do this when you open up the panel and then to um, the specific category slots. All right. So what we're going to do is create here a new custom event. It's going to be open uh, items list. And basically open items list will pretty much do what is doing right now here. Okay, uh, this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and do this. Put it over here. Great. So we will not do it when we open the inventory, only when we open up the slot. So let's go quickly into the, uh, which is going to be the equipable slot. So this is the slot, right? When we go into graph, when we click it, we are basically enabling this, right? We're going to visible. Uh, so what we have to do is basically go and call this. So we're going to go ahead and get the equipment widget now called this the custom one that we have just created, which is what was it? Items list, open items list, right? The things that we have to change a bit the items list into the coordinating category of that guy, right? So what we have to do is go into WB equipment and we're going to go into the variables. So we're going to create a new variable. It's going to be current uh, slot category. So basically, we are only going to be showcasing the ones in that category that we are selecting right now. In this case, it's going to be E, uh, what was it? Yeah, welcome, welcome types, maybe? Um, 
weapon category types. I, I don't know why I have categories. <laughs> uh, here we go, category. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I think it was one of my tests. Okay, so done. Go ahead and uh, just forget that. Okay, we are using types. Um, so there we go, E types. And then what we need to do is that when we call this, we need to assign this. So here, we're gonna go ahead and get the equipment widget, get um, category, <coughs> and then we need to assign it. It's gonna be a bit later, right? So here what I want to do is just drag this and then it's gonna be equal and then we can put a number. Now I believe that there's also an equal numerator. Yeah, and we can just put in the, the text instead of that. And basically in here, we have to pass uh, the one of the armor, right? In this case, each slot will have a category. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new uh, here. Uh, variable is gonna be a, a slot category. And this will be, again, E weapon types. And this is gonna be gonna click this I so it's public. So later on in here, you can go into the designer and select it. So we're gonna select, for example, this one, and this will be the melee category. Let's go into the second one. This will be, for example, the range. Let's go here. Uh, this will be the armor, for example. Let's go into the bottom right one. This will be shield. So now each one has its own category, right? And will only display once in, a, in the items in that category. So now in here, what we are doing is basically uh, we need to assign it. So actually, we have to get this and then set current slot category, not get it. We need to set it. Sorry about that. And in this case, this category will be the one on here. So now we need to get this from the current variable that we just created and assign it. And now we are ready to go. So what we have to do now is go back to WB equipment, go into the graph. And then on here, make sure that we are only creating that um, items for that category. The thing is that we have the type here. So we are only going to continue if the type is the same. So we can put everything a bit to the right. And then we can go ahead and get type is equal enumerator to the current slot category. And if it is, we're going to create it. So go ahead and make a branch. And here, only continue if this is true. If not, it will not do anything, basically. All right, so now we can compile and save, and this should work. So let's check out our database. So the light sword will be melee, the heavy sword, again, melee, okay. So we'll have two items displaying there, and then we'll have one for ranged. So if I were to go here and get off all my weapons, all the items, and I go here in the melee, so this will add the text in a second, this is melee, we only have these two melees, you can see. But if we go into range, uh, <laughs> okay, this is range, I believe. And this is the other ones. Oh, okay, so, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Because we have to um, clean the, uh, sorry, I, I forgot something, it's, it's working, but we have to basically clear the whole list every time that we click a new item. So basically on, on the equipable slot, Right when we click it, what we're going to do is before doing all this and assigning it again, what we're going to do is go and get the list canvas panel and then clear uh, children from the panel. All right, so they will be basically gone and it will update and generate new ones. So now that should work. So let me get all of them again. There we go. Uh, did I get it? Yes. So now if I go here, I should. Okay, did something wrong, I believe. Okay, so I found the fix. What we have to do is go into the equipo slot. And when we clear the children, just leave that. We are not going to do it here. So compile, go back to the W equipment and write in the custom event of open uh, items list. <clears throat> when I get the uh, list vertical box, get it. And then in here, clear the children. Okay, I'm gonna do it from here when we call it. For some reason, I don't know, it should be the same, but now it works. Okay, I don't know why that, but just do it like that. Now, if I were to get all the items and open this, you can see that in my melee category, I only get the heavy weapon and light sword, right? And then if, if I go into here, my range, I only have my wooden bow because it's the only range weapon category that I picked up. And I go into the other ones, we don't have anything because I don't have any shield category or um, the other category, which I don't remember, horse or whatever, right? But the other ones are working, so that's great. Everything is going ahead working, of course, if I equip the one of the swords, it will be updated. Now, of course, if I go into my 
wooden bow, <coughs> it will be also updating. And because we have different slots and the wooden bow should be affecting another uh, item, right? Not the same one, not the sword. It should be like in the other hand and then you change between the states and so on. But we will do that um, over time, okay? Uh, I don't know if in right in the next episode or later on when we get into to the the boats and stuff But we are honestly going ahead and advancing so fast if I go and shoot the light sword It's now updating. So yeah, we just have to basically make these slots independent from each other, right? That's the mm -hmm. only thing left. That's it guys If you found it so helpful, I would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel I have lots of unreal and different tutorials, so I'm gonna go ahead and check them out. Go ahead Join my Discord server so you can show up your progress that you're making with the series or with the game and follow me on my socials. So just uh, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, in the next episode, uh, I think we will finalize with the um, UI. Okay, we'll add the melee here, then range text over here, and then so on. Okay, we'll finish up a, a bit more things, and that's pretty much it. So, with all said, bye bye.